So my name is Sinead Murphy and I'm a freelance makeup artist in Dublin and I do a lot of weddings, uh, makeup applications, makeup lessons, um, all aspects of makeup and if you want to find me on Instagram it's Sinead Murphy Makeup and also on Facebook it's Sinead Murphy Makeup as well. So I first started out when I was 17 so um, I left school and I got a job on the benefit counter and I started there and I was there for two years and I gained loads of experience and once I left Benefit then I got a job on YSL in Brown Thomas and I was there for another two years and then after that then I got a job in Mac. That was kind of like my big break getting the job in Mac because I always wanted to work for Mac. So I've been working in Brown Thomas at the time and they were opening up um, Mac on Henry Street. So they asked me if I wanted to work there so I was delighted so I got the job in Mac and I was there for three years. So that's basically how I, I started out in makeup. So when I was in Mac, I started doing like a lot of freelance work like while I was working. So I would go into work on a Saturday and a Sunday, and then I'd go home and I'd do clients after work, I'd do clients before work. So I started to get really, really busy and more people kind of wanted to book me. So I kind of had to make like a decision, like whether I wanted to stay stay in Mac or whether I wanted to go fully freelance which is like a really hard decision because you're leaving like a permanent full-time job and then you're going out into the freelance world so it's definitely not an easy decision but at the time I just thought it was the best thing to do and um, my dad wasn't well it was actually kind of and um, the perfect timing because it was just a, like within a couple of weeks he really like hadn't got much time and you know it was everything was like on top of me and I was like I'm just gonna leave now it's probably the best time spend a bit of time with my dad and then yeah just go freelance and then I did so yeah so how did you begin working alongside Susumi? Um, so basically Suzanne I'd left Mac so I was freelance for I'd say about three or four months and um, at the time I was going through a lot as I said my dad wasn't well so really it was, it came at a really like unusual time. So she had just contacted me basically through Facebook and she said, you know, I love your work. And she said, would I be interested in working at her workshop in Donegal and that weekend? And of course I was like, so delighted. You know, I couldn't believe like, you know, this break had come so quickly cause I'd only just gone freelance. So I was like, yeah, of course, no problem. And then I traveled down to Donegal that weekend and I did her workshop and I was so nervous, but it was amazing and after that Donegal workshop then I done all of our workshops. So for the past year and a half I've travelled like all over Ireland with her. We've been to like almost every county now in Ireland and I've done all of our workshops and I've done her makeup and I've done lots of other like stints with her and yeah and then we've just become like really really good friends. So, uh, How did you build a name for yourself in the wedding business? Um, so basically I, when I was freelance I done a couple of weddings and I think when you're going to be I think if you want to be successful as a makeup artist in the wedding business I think that you have to be really reliable and you have to be professional and you know that's like obviously what brides want because it's a very stressful day you know so they need someone that's going to be calm on the day and you know is going to carry out a really good job on their makeup so I feel like I was able to, to do that. So any wedding I went to, I was always really calm and I always looked after them really well and obviously gave them that kind of flawless finish that you want on your wedding day. So with that then, other brides just, they told their friends that were getting married and the word just kind of passed around. And I know Suzanne, she's getting married herself this year. So she actually posted on her blog that I was one of the top five makeup artists in Ireland that she would recommend to book for your wedding day. So I think after that as well, it just exploded and I got so many like inquiries. As soon as she put that up, my makeup page on Facebook just exploded. I had hundreds of messages from brides, you know, all wanting to book their trials and, you know, etc. So like it did, it did, like it was amazing, like to get that approval from her, you know, was amazing. And now it's just a roller coaster. Now I'm doing a wedding like every single week. So it's great. So could you ever like pinpoint a time in your life where you could say, you know, that was a time I didn't actually feel so great, my confidence was a little bit lower? Yeah, well, like if we take it back to like when I first did leave Mac, like obviously I said that, you know, unfortunately my dad passed away and he only had like a couple of weeks to live and I had to make such a horrible decision that to leave my job, go freelance and obviously spend th that bit of time that I had with my dad. So that was like 
a really really hard time you know most people that leave freelance they're confident and they're you know they're they're probably like really happy and you know like whereas obviously I knew I wanted to go freelance and I knew I had to but obviously on the other side I was going through a really hard time and when I actually went to the Donegal workshop um, the following week my dad did pass away so that was something that was really really hard because I was at the workshop and I was on the stage and I was so nervous but I also knew that like you know he would be proud of me and that I like I wanted to do it you know what I mean so yeah so like yeah basically <laughs>